the world is seeking power and control to gain transitory pleasures. The Buddhist is seeking freedom from suffering that would allow him a peace The Hindu seeks bliss, a joy unfathomable. But the Jesus story is seeking love, epitomized as parent to child, father to son, steadfast eternal love, not based on power and pleasures seeking in the transitory, not simply an absence of suffering for peace, not an unfathomable bliss. But the love eternal. Eternal life, creativity, in fellowship, in communion. I don't want my children to lose their identity and I don't want them to be identical to me. I seek a harmony, yes. And indeed where there is no suffering and there is bliss. But it is life in all its fullness and variety consistent with such harmony and fellowship understood by love. Life eternal. Life in the fullness of unbounded creativity not just a freedom that could attain such, but the freedom that is found in such. To be in eternal fellowship and creativity. Quite simply, religions and philosophies are not all the same. You have transitory life, or rather life experiencing the transitory, and you long for the eternal. Not simply an eternal bliss, or an eternal absence of suffering, or an eternal peace, but an eternal life in all its fullness. I'm come to bring you life, that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Life eternal, part of the vast host of heaven, our heavenly father's wonderful family, his and our meaning to being. Thank you, Dad.